Here we're going to be talking about SoundSpeed Manager, which is an application that provides a ready-to-go solution to manage sound speed profiles during hydrographic surveys. It's a collaborative effort between the University of New Hampshire's Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping and NOAA's Office of Coast Survey. So first we'll start at the website, uh, hydrooffice.org. Here you can read a little bit of more about SoundSpeed Manager. You can download the latest version right here on the website. And there's instructions on how to get it running properly in the README. And then you can also uh, find a link to Noah's whole Padro suite. You can contact us uh, a number of ways, but the simplest way is if you just go to the top of the page and fill out a message there. So I'll be starting SoundSpeed Manager through Padro Explorer. You can also use the standalone version that you just saw on the website. And this is what version 2018.0.6 will look like when it opens. And you can see at the top of the page we have these different tabs and the same information can be accessed from the menus up top. So the first thing I'd like to show is our documentation which comes in both online and offline versions and you can access that number of ways. And you can see that they both contain the same information so it doesn't matter whether or not you have internet access to view the user manual. And here we'll get into the main point of the video which is uh, setting up SoundSuite Manager to interact with Sys. We'll be using method one, but you can see there's a number of different methods here in the user manual if you have a different setup. So in SoundSpeed Manager, I'm going to go to the Setup tab. And in Setup, you'll see that there are five separate tabs on the bottom. So here in the general tab, I'm just going to set up a few things. Uh, you don't have to do this to make the application work, but it'll help automatically filling out some of the required metadata later on. Next in the input tab, I want to select which method I want to use for extending my sound speed profiles, and I'll be using uh, World Ocean Atlas 09. Now in the output tab, we'll start to set up Sound Speed Manager to communicate with Sys using method one in the user manual. And you'll see that information should match what's in the manual. And similarly in the listeners tab, information should match. So I'm going to start an instance of Sys and I'll be using an emulator that can be fine in Pydro. And I'm using this because I don't have a copy of Sys, but it's a good way to check and make sure everything's working properly on your end. And you'll see all the Port information should match here. And all I have to do is add a couple of .all files, and I'll click Start. And in no time at all, you'll see that SoundSpeed Manager is starting to read in what would be real-time data from Sys. And now you're ready to import your first cast, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So thanks for watching.